Hello everybody! This video is for individuals taking of introductory programming courses, specifically the use of the C programming language. In this video, I will be discussing introductory part before we proceed with the programming parts which will later be recorded as well. So let us start. Coverage, by the way, are the following. We have computer fundamentals, computer organization, programming languages, C standard library, and C program development environment. So let us start off with the first topic, which is computer fundamentals. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that can perform computations and make logical decisions faster than human beings can. When we say electronic, it will need an electricity for it to work. Also, a computer can perform computations, that is, a mathematical computations, by making use of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. <clears throat> computer from the root word compute. So, given a mathematical expression, a computer can give the result as long as it follows the correct instructions given to it. Aside from computation, a computer also makes logical decisions given several conditions. Take for example, determining whether a grade of a student is passing or failing. So the condition there would be uh, if the grade is greater than or equal to 75 and the grade is less than or equal to 100, then the grade of the student is a passing grade. These computations and logical decisions made by a computer is basically faster than humans and error-free as long as it follows correct instructions given to it. Take note that a computer only performs computations and make logical decisions based on the instructions given to it. So these instructions are what we call computer programs which are created by computer programmers. One basic example that shows a computer is faster than humans, take for example, a person is given two digits and asked to give its sum, take for example, two and five, immediately the person can give the sum seven. That is because it is just a small number, but what if the, the human or the person is given a larger number, take for example, 129,772 plus 322,751, the person might take a few minutes or a few seconds before answering, while a computer can do it in a split of a second as long as the correct instructions is given to it by the computer programmer. Another definition of computer is that computer process data under the control of sets of instructions we call computer programs, which I have mentioned earlier. These computer programs guide the computer through orderly sets of actions specified by people called the computer programmers. So basically, given a data, this is the input. The computer will process this data and will give us the output. So we have input, process, and output. When we say computer system, it is a complete and functional computer which includes all the various devices called the hardware and the programs that run on a computer called the software. These are all required to make the computer functional for its users. <clears throat> a computer system should have the ability to receive data as input from the user, process data, and produce process data or what we call the output. <clears throat> now let us discuss hardware and software which makes up the computer system. So, a hardware is classified into four groups. We have input device, output device, storage device, and processing unit. So, for, so we have the input device or input devices. These are the devices that we use in order to capture data from the user. We have the usual 
input devices samples are the keyboard and the mouse. The output device, on the other hand, is used for the display of our process data or output. So we have the monitor and the printer. We also have the storage device. These are the hard disk and the memory, which are used to store data captured by our input devices. And we also have the processing unit. This is the central processing unit or the CPU, which is in charge of processing our data. For the software, it is divided into two types, namely the system software and the application software. So when we say system software, this refers to our operating systems like Linux and Windows. <clears throat> While application software refers to applications such as word processor, games, and the like. <clears throat> Take note, by the way, that an application software cannot function without a system software. But a system software can function with or without an application software. So that sums up the topic computer fundamentals.